He's got to give a speech, too. Tell him, right. Joe. Tell him where we're at. We have fucking, we have fucking Cruiser Brand show right now. These car shows are actually flukes. Like, I don't know if you know this, but Gabe and I, we wanted to have a meeting about, I think it was a couple new designs. And it was at one of his buddy's shops. It was a couple of years ago. And, uh... He's like, dude, I'll bring the grill. Why don't we just have, like, a little barbecue? I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I think if we have a meeting with Cruiser Brand, we should invite the team at least. So we invited a team. He's like, you know, as a joke, like, make a little flyer. I'm like, okay. So I put together a flyer, Cruiser Brand Barbecue. We had about, like, 60 cars show up. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And this was just something to bullshit sit. So eat some garnet was salad. Was this year one? This was, like year one by accident so we don't really don't count that as our first car show right. like this was just something like let's get together eat some hot dogs and carne asada tacos and get drunk and that's all we did and everyone showed up i mean we got footage of it burning out like it was i think it was supposed to be just a photo shoot we ended up setting up a booth selling shit we're like what the hell i mean i'm telling you just off that one flyer so we kind of after that day we looked at each other like we should make this a thing Let's make this a thing. That's when we got on board with the uh, El Cariso Park. And that's when we had that at the golf course. So when we did that, I mean, I'm telling you, the first one, we had no idea what we are doing. I mean, it was just like, show up, dude. It's a, it's a kickback. It's a party. They did. And we got a good turnout. People started asking us, when are you guys going to do another one? I'm like, dude, it's not a thing. We made it a thing. Because this is our second year, we kind of know what not to do. And... We didn't do it, and I think it, it went pretty smooth. Let's go meet some of the flows here. These are some of the best friends over here. We got award-winning trucks over here. Oh, you guys are on camera now. Oh, so <laughs> We're together. Yeah, yeah. These guys, I love them. I love them. I mean, we even got the classic, like, thump records here. I mean, come on. How badass is that? There was a point where, you know, I'm bringing cars in. I'm parking cars. I'm like... Not freaking out, but just, you know, my mind, the way it works, I'm like lining everything out. And then I see another 20 cars pulling, and I'm like, oh my God, all right, let's do it again. <laughs> I killed two batteries on those little electric bikes, <laughs> just parking and organizing. It's funny because everyone was asking, like, that's my job, organizing, parking, vendors, cars. And it was like, do you need a map? What are you going to do? And I'm like, I got it all right here. They're like, okay, but we need a map. Do you want this? I'm like, no. Because in my head, if I put a vendor here and they thought they were going to be here and then they freak, like, I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to, as I go, lay it out. And that's how I work. It's just how my mind works. People trip out on that. They're like, I don't understand how you do that. I just say, I got it. And if I say I got it, everyone knows, okay, hey, Gabe's got it. Like, you can pull off. I got it. I'm Joey Chingas with Joey Chingas Hot Sauce and Catering. I'm here supporting my good friends Gabe and Vince Cruiser brand here. I'm here slinging some uh, bacon wrapped hot dogs, um, some hot sauces right here, guys. And uh, having a good time supporting the community, the car community, uh, the city of Santa Cruz Valley, and just having great times. Stop it now. So Chula, we're here at Cruiser Brand uh, event in Canyon Country, Valencia, Santa Clarita, Santa Clarita. and um, we want to give a shout out to Cruiser Brand for inviting us again. We were here last year, different location, but same vibe. Chrome dash? Huh? There's a chrome dash. What? Chromed out dash. A whole dash of chrome. Either that or my glasses are... Yeah, we'll do awards. Let me tell him to do an announcement. We're so chula. Get over here. Jesus. Give it up. Sunny, show her. Hit her with it. Hit her with the skateboard. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We appreciate the support. Where's Phil? Phil A. Congratulations, bro. All right.
right, we still got uh, some merchandise from Cheap Times. My dad started a clothing line called Bluesaholics, and <laughs> he's funny. He started it because he wanted to get into all the festivals, make some money, and get the VIP. So why not? He's like, dude, it's like I'm killing all sorts of birds with one stone. Fortunately, he passed a couple years ago, and he's also the one that got me really into all the cars and stuff. He's always had custom cars ever since he was a teen. Custom cars, lifted trucks, Harleys, all the cool shit. Airbrushing. He was also an artist. So, uh, circa 1998, 1999, I really got tired of because he, him and my uncle ran a landscape company. I still do. Um, well, obviously, I'm my dad, but, um, I got tired of pulling weeds. So my dad pulled me into the office. He's like, you know what? You're going to be doing uh, the job estimating and you're going to work with numbers. So that's where I got my computer skills. Plugging in all the numbers, I noticed a, a little icon on the computer of, I don't know what the hell it was. I click on it and Photoshop popped up. And I'm like, what is this? And he's like, oh, you know how you draw and stuff? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you can do that on a computer. I'm like, shut up. I grew up with that. It's naturally embedded in my head. Like, this is the shit that I love. This is the shit that I grew up, and it takes me back to that. So this is the stuff that I'm going to keep going on and show my kids and grandkids and all that shit. So that he, again, he was a big part. He still is a big part. He's watching us now. There's so many times where I want to call him. Look what I did. You know, uh, guess, what's good? guess what we're about to do, it's, I still have his number. Give it up for Louie from the Flows, everybody. He wins the Cabrones Club Pick Award for a sick-ass nice runner. That thing's bad. It's award-winning. And it's on Hydros. Sick-ass fool. Let's show off the award. Let's see what you got, homie. Gilberto Rublacaba, 1950 Mercury. That car is fucking gorgeous. There it is. That's our favorite car. 19, what is it, a 50 Merc? 50 Merc, yeah. Archie from Genocide Car Club. <laughs> Biggest piece of shit. Come on down. Oh, my God. Look at that guy. <laughs> Woo! Sonny, give him his trophy. But hold on. He's got to give a speech, too. Hey, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, and most importantly, fuck me. <laughs> Give it up to Archie and the rest of the fucking genocide crew, guys. How does it feel to just show your dad, like, you know, I'm doing something? Feels good. Really good. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> you can take a minute. Yeah. Hold on, I got it. <clears throat> He's one of our, he's one of our talent. Now we got sponsored. made for, now sponsored. <laughs> sponsored. Easy <laughs> No, just talking about my old man chokes me up. <clears throat> um. Yeah, feels good. He's proud. That's all I can say. That's good. <clears throat> Yeah. Parking all the cars, organizing, 
doing everything we do, uh, it's just it's pretty cool to see where we've come, where we where we've gotten. Bye guys. Bye safe. I just want to start by saying thank you everyone, especially the vendors and all the cars, car clubs, all the people, and everyone just showing up and uh, showing love and respect. Uh, thank you Fun Burger for hosting it. Uh, thank you Opal Law for sponsoring it. Uh, Cruiser Brand, the crew of Cruiser Brand is amazing. It's not just Gabe and I, then we have a team that is a badass. Dude. We couldn't do it without our team. Yeah, so. We couldn't do it without our team. Um, <laughs> we got Lowrider smoking out, no big deal. It's funny because someone asked me at our show, what's your what's your next plan? What's the next thing? And I was like, well, I'm going to buy a banquet hall and then host my own shows at my banquet hall and then rent the banquet hall out. Like, that's my thought. That's that's where my mind goes. So in a, a place for an event, I don't know, um, but I know I want to buy something and hold my events there or hold our events there. You know, something like that. Or I don't know. It's always for us. We just want to be. Whatever falls into place falls into place for us with throwing events and stuff like that. So the future is wide open for you guys? Always wide open. I mean, and we're, we'll make a deal tomorrow and I'll throw an event in a month, you know, like just for say, like, I can do it. And I'll be honest with you, like, I've never been into event planning and throwing. I really like it. <laughs> it's a lot of, it's a lot of stress, but it's a lot of fun. Sherry, and it's <laughs> get ready. It's, <laughs> it's fucking so rewarding after. Like to see it come together is the most rewarding part. It's not the money. It's not none of that shit. It's just to see an event where people are enjoying themselves. Like it's it's badass. You yeah. know the money. I read a post like, I'm not after the money. I'm after the freedom, and that is what I'm after. Just I want to love what I do.